Yee! Ha! Hello! I, I can't even... Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to a Thunder Junction draft. I can't do the yee-haw intro. It's... We're off to a great start here, battling. Oh, Kadok, what are we working with here? Well, our bonus sheet card is Outlaw's Merriment, a card I personally love, but I think is a little bit slow to be a first pick in this format. If I'm red-white, I'll play it, though. Ariette, when you play an aura... Uh, but, uh, yeah, so 4-4 four, four, lifelink, but it's three colors. Prairie Dog is fantastic. Probably going to be my pick here. There's also Derailment, but I think Prairie Dog is absolutely stellar. I think it's better than Lasso by the Law. If you play this on turn two, you could just, like, pass, flash in a holy cow. I really want to get some more reps with this card. And by more reps, I mean this will be the first time I'm getting to play it, but I've seen it in play here. Heard tales of the Prairie Dog, so we're going to take it. Oh, Kadok Unlicensed Hearse is quite good. There's also Unfortunate Accident. That's a good card. An instant to go with Prairie Dog. There's also Slick Sequence, blue-red. Intimidation Campaign is nice. I think it's between... Unfor it's probably just... Hearse is really good, but I'm going to take the Unfortunate Accident. Like, this is just going to grow into a huge creature in a lot of games where there's a full graveyard. But I think Accident supplements the Prairie Dog. Good removal spell, good value. Nice pickup. Okay, and now we're going to kind of abandon the Prairie Dog here and probably take Vile Smasher. It's it's definitely tempting to take Vile Smasher. There's also Skewer the Critics as a three-mana deal three, but I think Vile Smasher, to pair with the Unfortunate Accident, is going to be better. There's also Rutstein, but we see a lot of red cards. Red card, red card, red card. They're all decent. I'm going to take this. There's also Seize the Secrets if I wanted to go towards Blue-Red. Take the fall. Like, if I had gone, if I'd taken that blue red gold card, second, I could have gone towards those a little bit, but I think Vile Smasher goes well with Accident. I can't play it in my Prairie Dog deck, but mm, yeah, I think I would take Vile Smasher. Okay. Now there's a Holy Cow, so I could just ignore the Vile Smasher. There's not really a good red card follow up anyway. And I could take the Holy Cow to go with the Prairie Dog and the Unfortunate Accident Black-White Plan. There's also Outcaster Green Blade, which is quite good. Mirage Mesa for fixing, but I'm going to take the Holy Cow here. I think this card's quite good, but I'm going to go Holy Cow here. Follow-up. Rest in peace. Explosive Derailment. I'm not seeing the cards that I would love in white, but I'll take the Explosive Derailment over... Geopeed, Brimstone Roundup, Snakeskin Veil. There's some black cards here, too. This card doesn't do much. <laughs> Red, white, ride down. This is another card I can, like, play Prairie Dog, turn two, pass with this thing, get another, get a counter. Or I can go into my red-black deck and I just ignore white. Multicolor instant or sorcery from my hand. What if I was plotted? Blue white. This car, this plays really well with the Prairie Dog plan. I mean, there's not really a card that like fits my deck that well here, so I could just take Gem Lightfoot. Not a single black card. Not really any red cards to note other than this one. I, if I'm going to go into blue, I think this card fits my deck better. Because I can pair it with my good white cards. Ooh, and now I can take this. Some good green. This card's good. This card's solid. This card's good. But Phantom Interference plays well with Prairie Dog, Holy Cow, Gem Plan. Um, hmm. I'm not going to wheel the 2 3 flyer. That makes my instance cost less. Steer Clear also plays well with that plan. Yeah, I'll take the Phantom Interference. <laughs> what? Fairy Dog, number two. Nice. We did it. We read the signals. I'm a genius. I first picked this card. And now I'm getting it pick eight. Nobody else wants it. We're in the right lane. Let's go. 
Oh, uh, we bounced around a little bit. They had us in the first inning, but don't don't get me wrong. But we found there. We got there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's pretty good. Now the only question is, what do I do if I get two prairie dogs in my opening hand? Do I play both of them, or do I just play one and then wait? I guess it depends on the hand's context. They play well in multiples because you can activate it, and they both get two counters. Oh my gosh. I'm just thinking, could I splash red? We'll have to see what our lands look like. Well, nobody's playing white. That's Let's just jump on that train while we can. Pick nine lassoed by the law. Does this have flavor text? No, it doesn't. It's got too much normal text for that. Also, Ariette, blue, white, plus uh, that. I can just take control of things, but I'm just going to take this easy lassoed by the law. So I wanted to splash black. I could do it for that. I think I'm just going to take steer clear, though. There's a blue green land. But white has some mounts. It's an instant. Take the fall over Sterling Supplier. This card could be decent. It's an instant that you can like zap everything. Feeling pretty good about this deck right now. Everything I've got is either an instant, a flash spell, or a payoff for not casting spells on my turn. I guess I would be pretty happy to take some plot cards. This guy looks like he's eating like a drumstick or like one of those ice cream bars. Like the cactus is like the chocolate outside and then there's like vanilla ice cream on the inside. Does there flavor text? Nope. Flavor text? Dewey had been briefed on every aspect of the plan, except the bit where he was left holding the bag. Ouch. To his enemies is chagrin. Winston. Ooh, what? This is a beautiful land. How is it three cards left in the pack? It's great mana fixing. Maybe I can play explosive derail derailment. Just because you can saddle a critter doesn't mean it'll let you ride Annie Flash. I love Annie Flash. Archive Trap. I don't think we're going to be milling anybody today. Though this pack is garbage for me. Yeesh! Yikes! What do I take here? I could take Geyser Drake. It does play well with like a lot of my cards. Not really. These both cost one already. I think I'll just take the town smoke. I guess it could still be white black. I only have three of these. And I could just take have two unfortunate accidents in a white black deck. Yeah, I'm going to speculate. And this card's also pretty absurd. Yeah, Dust Animus. No big deal. Just two mana five. Two mana four five life linker. So I think we cut white successfully. I'm mostly thinking like my two black cards are like equal to, if not better than these three blue cards. So I could easily be a black deck. Okay. No, not really interested in that. Double spelling, not really what I want. Ariette's Lullaby. Could be okay. I could also take this guy. I kind of like the Medic. Could also take, take the Fall. Mm. Medic. Lullaby. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is tough. I'm gonna take the medic. Could be a mistake. I kind of already have steer clear to do what Lullaby does. Not as effectively, mind you, but... Looks like you've got a train to catch, laughing Jasper Flint. The nomadic Atene rarely settled anywhere for more than a few seasons, but Jem never let that stop her from seeing every last corner. Aw, oh, that's nice. Repulse is perfect in this deck. I also like Prosperity Tycoon. But this is an instant. Helps me not fall behind on board. This is just the dream. I just like being able to pass with all my mana up. Hmm. Similarly, I can pass with my mana up. This card's pretty good. Not in every deck, but in a lot of decks. Gardener. Hmm. Yes, I think this deck is going pretty well. We've got now another blue card. Ooh. Bounding Felidar is really nice when it's working. There's also Trained Erinx, which makes my Steer Clear better. Carrier Strix, which plays well with Ariette's Last Laugh, or whatever that card's called. Homestead. Uh, Felidar or Erinx. I'd rather have this guy. A oh, 6 mana 4 7 is big. Oh my gosh. You can hear the sound of the like, little pause. Holy cow, just what I want. Ooh, the white black land would actually be pretty decent. Actually, this is double black. I'm not splashing that. I'm not a crazy person. This is perfect, though. Holy cow. Just instant speed, instant speed, instant speed. Oh my gosh. I don't really have tokens anyway. I could just take Jin. Jin seems pretty decent. It's a way to develop my board. I could also take this to try and splash red, but I don't need to splash, I don't think. I'm not going to let myself get fooled. Four mana for a four, three flyer. Should still be good, good enough these days. <laughs> Late throw from the saddle. Gold pan. Daring Thunder Thief. Or Stagecoach Security. Hmm. I'll try Daring Thunder Thief. Nice, we get this thing. Get a couple of them, nice. We just got a lot of life gain. This card is absurd. I just feel like I never beat that card. Enter Scry 2 while saddled. Exile up to one target creature at the saddle. Return this card to the battlefield under its control. So I get to keep Scrying 2. Do I have any ETBs? This card's pretty decent to ETB over and over. But other than that, not really. I feel like I never beat this card, but maybe this card's a better pick for me. Claim Jumper! 
Let's do it. I also like take up the shield. This card's pretty dang good. Lassoed, I'll take that over the Erynx. Also over Crab. Crab is solid, though. Get some nice filtering on. Erynx is nice for um, enabling my steer clear, but I don't really need to care about that that much. I think this card's really, really good. I've had good success with this. This card's also fine. Holy Cow is also nice, but this is a great removal spell that also resets ETBs, can protect from their removal. Um, yeah, I like this card a lot. I'll take the on-color duel over another medic. I'll try this card. It seems a little bit slow to me. Like, it might just be way worse than the Stagecoach Sentry. But I want to try it, because four mana draw three historically would be good. It's still early enough in the format that I'm down to very, very much so down to try things. Let's do an Outlaw count. One, two. I'll do that later. Take up the shield for sure. Keykeeper is good with these two lullabies. I might not need the steer clear. I've got the two lullabies after all. I'm just thinking that gives me enough playables, I think. And this makes them outlaws too. Medic. Medic wield, okay. It's also this guy. I want to try this guy, maybe. Take up the shield, Mystic Snake. I don't have the lands to play Mystic Snake, though. If I'd taken that one dual land, I could have... No, I wouldn't have had enough still. Thunder Thief is pretty big. Goes well with these take up the shields, maybe. Hmm. I'll try this guy. It's a Geyser Drake. I think it's pretty good. So we need to make a few cuts here. Got some nice flying action. This card's pretty good in some spots, but we're gonna pass on it for now. One, two, three, four, five, two drops, but this isn't really a two drop. I kind of want to try this. I kind of want to try this. If I get rid of those two, then I have one, two, three. I have enough removal. I'm going to ditch this, even though I think it's a good card, just because I want to try some of these other ones more. 
prairie dog is our art perfect we'll see how this does we'll make changes if it doesn't feel good i really just want to see if purely rope master is like the last pick that it always gets passed to me as or if it's actually playable similar with this card these two, two cards are not not very good i don't think but i want to try them anyway i'll see you folks in the games before i get to the games i want to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons who support the nikolai bolas channel at patreon.com slash nikolai bolas it is thanks to Patreon support that I'm able to make as many videos as I do. And I really do appreciate everybody who contributes towards the success of the channel. If you're enjoying my videos and would like to support my content directly, Patreon is the best way to do so. And you gain access to some cool perks along the way, such as access to my card by card tier list for each set and other cool benefits. Special shout out to those patrons who support my channel at the credits level. I really do appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get to the games. Welcome to round one. We'll keep this. Mirage Mace is so good. Ooh, if I had another blue, I could play this and hold up this. That'd be pretty good. I was so tempted to just play this and eat their guy. I don't really want to have sock fodder and stuff. They could sack this guy to keep this guy alive, I think. I've got them on a two-turn clock now. That's incredible. Oh my gosh, they went for the wrong one. Uh, 
Wow, they should have gone for the guys. Oh, they couldn't go for the guys if Draco wouldn't have worked. Woo! Got the win. That was very satisfying. That was so satisfying. Oh, satisfaction. See you next round. Welcome to a round where we're going to mulligan this hand. We can keep this one, though. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to ditch my double blue spell for now. Prairie dog into holy cow. We're doing it. No! Oh, come on, man. Dang it. I don't really want to land right now. Feels pretty bad that the fairy dog died. Ugh. I'll just flash in my daring thunder thief. 4-4 four, four felt pretty good so far. Yikes. No, it's a three two flyer. Brutal. Now I really want to draw that four mana draw three. I think Outlaw Medic is good partially because of these one ones. They could have killed my mercenary. That's the ba that's the power of Skullduggery is they could have won the combat and killed my mercenary. Top deck war? Never mind. I'm so screwed. I guess I shouldn't have traded off my 2-2. Two -two. I 
I can't believe that's the block they're making. Attack they're making. Oh. That's a bit weird. See you next round. Welcome to another round. I think I can keep this. I've got a three drop into a four drop. I don't have white mana yet, but we've got plenty of sources. That's the benefit of having those dual lands. They make my mana more consistent. And I've got plenty of blue spells. Mulliganing just isn't very good. Of course, I could draw all white spells. That's the downside of this sort of hand, but mulliganing is also bad in an inherently, like, disadvantageous way, so. Okay. Ah, we're both both doing things. There we go. I'm limited on the white mana, so I'm just going to cast the most powerful white spell I have available to me each turn. This card was really good there. Huge. If I draw a second white source, it'll be really good for me. Because as you can see, my entire hand is... is white spells. Sure. If I draw a white source here, I can go gem into key keeper. I'm just trying to trade off right there because that guy's kind of scary and I'm not going to be able to start holding things up at flash speed. Oh, that's a, bit, a bummer. They hit a backup. Okay. Well, that's pretty awesome. That was pretty good. 
I've got so many flyers. Oh, are you kidding me? Why? What? Oh, this is rigged. Oh my gosh, I thought this was when this attacked. This thing's pretty big. They have so many lands in play. I think I have them dead on board, though, if they don't find something good. Them having a draw three is bad for me, of course. <sighs> they just draw three, okay. Block here, they're dead on board. Okay, so they're dead. I can't believe we're winning this game. So I buff up on my tutus. Got there. Holy heck. Bonnie Paul, take that. Holy heck, I thought that card only triggered when it attacked. Oh my gosh, that card's so messed up. Welcome! We've got a great hand. We've got a great show for you here. I'm probably going to play this and then just wait on casting it, because a 4-5 lifelinker is so much better than a 2-3 flyer. Oh my gosh. But we'll see how our land situation shakes out. Maybe I just need to cast it as a 2-3 flyer. Opponent. Opponent! They see the planes. They're deep in the tank. I'm not sure if this is correct, but I feel like it might, it probably is. I hope they crack the treasure here. I would have bounced it, but it's not the sort of creature that's as good to bounce.
kind of a bummer that they had Eartha Joe twice. You couldn't have just play like a normal four drop. Ugh. Against red white aggro, though, I'm pretty happy with my dust animus decision. Oh no. Menace and haste, okay. Flame Jumper. Pretty good. I love it. This draft is going very well, I would say. Pretty devastating if you think about it. I'm back to 20, they have nothing. I'm down to 19, they have nothing. Zero. Maybe I should have just held up take up the shield. <sighs> now they're just dead, though. I don't think this card's crazy, but like good, but it's not terrible. It's kind of right down the middle. I'm not even going to give him the moral victory. <sighs> That's the sort of thing Michael Jordan would do. They go for their last second layup, he just blocks the shot because he can. See you folks next round. <laughs> Welcome! We've got all of our, I mean, both of the bad cards in one hand. We'll see how they do. Oh no, another expensive card. That's really, really not what I wanted to see. Okay, that can help. If I draw only expensive cards, no cheap creatures, and not a fourth land, this is going to go very badly for me. I'm just going to flash in my 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. 
Yes. Rope master doing the work. No attacks at this time. Don't want to give them another token to go with this. Flickering this guy could be pretty good. I want to draw a lane so I can play gem with take up the shield backup. This card is so good now. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? They attack with everything. Oh, maybe I should have just done that. They attack, I bounce this, flicker this guy. Oh, but this guy wouldn't be able to block then. I'm not sure how this works. It might work the way I want it to. It might not. I have some really good double blocks here. I don't have to flicker it. I guess I could flicker it if I was trying to play around clear shot or something.
fairly certain they don't have an instant speed way to mess this up. Considering what just happened. Wasn't quite able to hold up this thing as well, but you know, this thing's as big as it's gonna get. I have a 5-5 five five now. I can take my time. I'll draw three next turn. Sure. This is just so much card advantage. I'm probably going to start casting my spells next turn, but... I have six, and then I can also hold up Repulse. I think getting this guy into play is better than drawing a card at this point. Got him. Woo! Very satisfying victory. See you folks next round. Welcome. We'll keep this hand. Plan the heist, really carrying, carrying the team here. Making sure I hit my land drops and such. Marauding Sphinx is going to be awesome this game. I have yet to have a Prairie Dog game. This deck is feeling very comfortable to pilot. If they have a sacrifice effect, this is going to be bad. I can't believe how badly this game lined up. <laughs> I mean, I'm not supposed to just do nothing there, am I? I'm going to miss a land drop. 
I mean, I could have also just drawn a land in this game. I think this is still my best bet. Yeah, Marauding Sphinx is so good. I played this guy because take up the shield plus this guy can gain me a lot of life. I draw planes, I can hold up this and take up the shield, though they'll know it's coming. Let's just say this game went poorly for me from the start. So the reason I did it this way is because I'm trying to tax their mana. Yeah, and they have instant speed removal. Why not? Why wouldn't they? Hmm. <laughs> The surprise of no one, three lands was not very helpful there. I'm just getting owned. This corrupted convictions ruined me. Absolutely, positively. I mean, honestly, it was because I was missing land. If I'd had lands, I probably wouldn't have gone for it. Because, like, who wants to bounce a 1 3? But, like, I was going to miss land drops, and then I did miss land drops, so I got compounded. Compounded wrecked. And that's the first time I've seen someone cast this card in the format anyway. But yeah, you can't win them all. I'm 5-0, and so it's bound to happen eventually. Sigh. 
amigo. Why did it take you that long to do that? Why? <laughs> they probably had like the stovetop burner they had to turn off or something because I don't like to imagine my opponents are just doing that for no reason. Welcome to another round. I said I hadn't had a prairie dog hand. Well, here we go. Prairie dog into prairie dog into thunder thief. Actually into gem lightfoot maybe. No need waiting for them to have green mana to play a snakeskin veil. Very dog. He's back. I really want to get this down on curve. I'm going to cast Gem this turn. Oh, I'm going to risk it. Oh, now I'll have instance up. Okay, there goes Gem. Oh, never mind. There goes my actual big guy. Oh, this game is so over. Oh my gosh. Prairie Dog and Gem. Best buds. Best amigos. I'll just play gem again. I think it's worth getting the gem out there because he's like a real threat. I mean, I could just let this guy grow. But like, just put so much pressure on them. And it's in the air, so it's like... Oh my gosh, brutality. Just massacring my opponent now. Um, I will keep... Gem. Okay.
Got him. Woo. Prairie Bob. <laughs> Jam and the Prairie Boys. See you in the final round. Welcome to the final round. Hopefully. This is prime prairie dog season. Ooh, this guy's good on the draw, too. Okay, no prairie dogs for me, but it's okay. Got all the way up to six mana. Oh, yeah. I actually will block. Blocking is just bad. Why would I ever block? Blocking is for suckers. We all know it. Oh, I could just be racing right now. I'm not liking my chances. They drew so many cards and they two for one me. This is where I need gem for a prairie dog, but I already lost one prairie dog. I'm so bad. I'm like so greedy to get the extra land off this guy that I didn't play my land and just like have getaway glamour to destroy them here.
They are owning me this game. If I draw the draw three card here, it would be incredible. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure, I'll keep it on top. Oh, they just need to commit one more crime, and I'm toast. <sighs> Shocker. Of course, I drew the planes that I needed. Just when I was hoping to draw that planes. I literally have, like, one left in my deck. No, I should have played the planes. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> yep, they kill my guy, they get a dragon. I was actually in this game until they drew some stuff. Oh, man. Oh, the dragon has haste. Of course it does. Ah, that's so frustrating. Uh, I, I played badly at times that game, but I also drew horrifically there. Oh, well. Welcome to the final, final game. We'll keep this one. Six and two. We either win and go down in glory or lose and go down sadly. Please, game, please give me an untapped land.
Maybe I should have played the Geyser Drake, because then they play a land next turn and I get two lands off my Claim Jumper. But I kind of want to play Marauding Sphinx next turn if I can draw a land. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. Oh my gosh. Discarding to hand size is the most unfun feeling in the world. It's just like, oh my gosh. I just want the pain to stop. I'm sure there's worse feelings. Psychologically, though, in my mind right now, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Could I just hit the third land on the play? Please, I'm begging you. Nice. Get wrecked. Yes, <laughs> they continue to mill only spells <laughs> and no creatures. <laughs> oh, that's got to be pretty. I mean, we both had some feels bads. I mean, I discarded a hand size this game, so I feel like I've got the ultimate complaint equity, but their uh, they're badger is not doing them any favors here. Oh, gosh. That's a bummer. Well, it was bound to happen. Actually, I could have played Geyser Drake and prevented all of this. Just like go this, this. To holy cow, or take up the shield. I should have attacked. I'm soft. That's just bad. Sure. There's the creatures they wanted. They just used one removal spell. That was a smart way for them to order blocks. I can use my Geyser Drake to block the Bristle Pack sentry.
This is not going well for me. I suspect I'm going to lose this game. Well, actually, they can't make me do any chump attacking, which is pretty nice. <laughs> And I can actually use Holy Cow to set up the top of my deck so they can't, like, mess me up there either. The main thing they can do... ...is force me to saddle everything. I can't afford to let them draw that. So I take 11 here. So they're going to mind slavery me on my next turn. So I need to be ready for that. Means they're going to attack with everything. Mind Slaver is so messed up. Honestly, this stupid Sentinel wrecked me. And the fact that I had the discard to hand size is still so tilting to me. Like, if I had that card in my hand, I'd be in so much better shape. I think I'm dead on board now, right? Four, six, nine, ten, a billion... Attack with both, trade with gem. Then they can crew that guy up. He'll be a 10, 10, 13, 15. Yeah, they've got me. I don't know why they're doing that. Oh, because that's where they have the four power flyer still. Sure. That's another way of doing the same thing, especially if they have a kill spell. Thanks out this guy, which I will do.
How am I still alive? I don't understand. They had me dead to rights. I was like dead on board. And they can see! Yes! 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 Oh, that's why you never surrender. What the heck? Wait, they decked them. <laughs> I didn't realize they ran out of cards in their deck. <laughs> they didn't concede. They just... What the heck happened? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they ran out of cards in their deck and I wasn't even paying attention. Oh my gosh. I guess they didn't need to get rid of that badger because they couldn't crew it up. It would kill them. <laughs> oh my gosh. They built so many cards. What the heck happened? Oh my gosh. Yes! The trophy! I'm so glad I didn't surrender. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's one of those things on Arena where it's sometimes hard to notice. We got there. We discarded a hand size of our opponent. Okay, they might have more complaint equity than me now, but I don't know. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Well, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, in the comment section down below, leave hashtag Master of the Mind. So let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video, because beating Mind Slaver from that situation, I think I was dead on board if they played it properly. Pretty spectacular. I mean, I think I was very close to dead on board, because I think if they crew, if they attack in my 3-3 Vigilance, trade with their 4-2, and then attack with my 3-4, tap all my lands... And then next turn they crew up their badger. It's like a 12-12 and I can't chump block it. And then they have like a couple of other creatures. I think I'm dead. But let's go. Huge win. I hope you enjoyed this video. Max wins. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Through the ups, through the downs, through the crazy games. That's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you next time.